Hey Bakers and welcome back to the Kenwood Kids Club. It's Easter week and so this week I'm going to be showing you how you can turn some of your Easter chocolates into something even more delicious. My Easter Rocky Road Bars. Begin by greasing and lining a 20 centimeter square cake tin. I'm just using some butter and some non-stick baking paper and to make it easier to get that paper into an awkwardly shaped tin you can screw it up first. When you've done that Add the chocolate, the butter and the golden syrup to a medium sized saucepan over a low heat. Stir it regularly until it's really melted and smooth. While it's melting, break up your biscuits into small bite sized pieces and place them in a large mixing bowl. Add your M&Ms, your mini eggs and marshmallows or any other fillings that you're using and then just mix them loosely by hand to combine. Once your chocolate is nice and smooth, Pour it over the biscuit mixture and mix it thoroughly until everything has an even coating of the chocolate. Transfer that into the cake tin and then use a spoon to make sure it's nice and level. Pay particular attention to those corners as well. Next, melt your white chocolate in the microwave or in a saucepan over a double boiler and then transfer it into a piping bag. Drizzle that loosely over the top of your whole rocky road and then sprinkle over any decorations that you're using. I use some more M&Ms, some more mini eggs, some more marshmallows and some Easter sprinkles that I had too. What you're going to want to do once you finish that is pop it in the fridge to chill completely. Now this will usually take at least about two hours but I try and leave mine overnight if I can. Once it is nice and chilled, pop it out from the tin and then use a large kitchen knife to slice it into bars. Now my Easter Rocky Road bars are absolutely delicious to enjoy on your own at home but I like to give mine as gifts as well. Simply wrap them up in a bit more baking paper and tie them with some string or some ribbon and they make the perfect Easter gift for all your friends and family. I do hope you enjoyed finding out how to make them and of course if you do give them a go don't forget to tag us on social media. We'll be back at the same time next week with another fun and easy cook or bake along but until then as always take care and happy baking.